this video we're going to learn how to use the main feature coming with Anima 3.5, Anima Live Link, a live. Now, usually when we want to uh, we use Anima with a 3D application, we have to save the project, import that project in that 3D application, such as 3ds Max, using the Anima plugin. But every time we create we make a change inside the Anima project, we have to again re-import it inside that 3D application. Now the live link comes at hand because it makes the process a bit more straightforward. Okay, we create a live link, a real-time live link between these two applications. Let's see how it works. Now I have the classroom project loaded and the classroom scene loaded in Anima, and I have the same scene loaded in 3ds Max. Now let's go back to Anima and here at the top right of the viewport we have this icon. Now this icon now is white. It means that there is a 3D application with which Anima can connect to. Okay? If this icon is gray it means that there is no 3D application compatible with Anima Live Link. Okay? So now what I can do is left click on this and this question is, do you want to send this project, in this case, this scene, to 3ds Max? I click yes. So now, as you can see, the icon changes is animated because the connection is in process. Since this can take a while, I will speed up this part and I will go right to the end. And now we have the icon completely Active. So now we know that Anima is connected and synchronized with 3ds Max. So we go back to 3ds Max now. And as you can see, it appears the same pop up panel asking what kind of materials we want to use for this project. As you can see, we have all the characters imported. So I go for the regular config apply materials. That's it. So now I can select the Anima object, going to the Modify panel and click on Show Textures on Viewport. Okay? That's it. Now, this is actually a different way of importing a project, but the difference is that now we are connected, synchronized with Anima. How can we know this be inside, right inside 3ds Max? Well, we go to the Modify panel, we select, of course, the Anima object, we scroll down, and we have here connection and here we have already synchronized hmm? we'll go back to the, this in a moment now if we go back to anima what happens is the following we want to create some difference some make some variation some change so what i will do is to change this ready post model with a different one probably a woman okay so i will click and drag on top of it okay i will just orient it and that's it then again, I want to change this character here, and I will probably change it with another woman. There are two men here. Okay, so that's it. This is very nice. We already know how it works. Okay, so how can we send this to 3ds Max? Very simple. We control S, save the scene, and automatically it will be sent to 3ds Max. So we go there, and as you can see here, we have a different model for the woman standing and a different model for the woman sit. Okay, so now exactly the same thing. We select the, the Anima object, show textures in viewport, and that's it. Now, what happens if I go back to Anima and I add new actors? Very simple. It works the same way. Okay, so say that I want to add a couple of actors here seated. So what I will do is use the table tool. I will create a couple of seats here and here. Okay, right click and I created a table. Now I will select this woman here and this guy here. And I will drag and drop them into the crowd list of this table. So click generate. And now I have those, these characters. So what I can do is just to, well, Place, better place the, the seats. Okay, that's it. This is something we already know how to do this. And again, Control S, save the scene, 
and go back to your 3D application, in this case, 3ds Max. And as you can see, here we have these two new characters added in real time. Okay, show textures in viewport. So each time we create, make a change in the original project, it will automatically be sent once we save it in Anima to the 3D application, in this case, 3ds Max. Okay, so this is very straightforward and this is a very different way, not too much really, but a different way to make things a bit faster. Now, what if I'm working in Anima with a project and in 3ds Max with a different one? Well, this, oh, this is a right, this is a case. Mm? And what happens is that the Anima Live Link logo mm, is changing, as you can see, is moving. Now, this means that there is a connection between Anima and 3ds Max, but there is not, they are not synchronized because the project I'm working with in Anima is not the one I'm working with in 3ds Max. Okay, as you can see here, mm, it's a different one. Not too, not very different actually and this is something i want to talk to you about because what i can choose to do is for example this project is a concert okay so we have these tribunes with a lot of people there will be more people uh, here below in front of the stage and on the stage itself so for my computer this is not feasible to be being done all together in one scene so what i've done is to split this project in multiple scenes mm? to being able to work in separate separate scenes and then import them into 3ds max mm? all together to being able to render them for example okay so what happens in this case is that if we click on this icon at the moment mm? these are the options we have two options the first one is to send the content of the scenes I have loaded at the moment only one mm, to 3ds max so the content of this scene will be mixed added to the one imported in 3ds max or we can open the project mm, and the scene related to the one imported in 3ds max we won't do this right now because what i want to do is to send to 3ds max all the three scenes i have created so i will load all the scenes load okay that's it open and now i have all the three sections the multi scene 2 is actually the scene i already have in 3ds max what i'm going to do now is to click on this again i have the same message the same options and this way i can send the scenes to 3ds max i click sync and since it will take a while, I will speed up the video and be right back. Okay, so now we are connected and synchronized. So we go back to 3ds Max. And as you can see here, the three scenes have been added into the same 3ds Max scene in this case. So apply materials. Okay, just a second. Same material we uh, used before. Okay, and now we have this scene this project in 3ds max synchronized with the three scenes we have here in anima in this project so i can keep working separately in each separate different scene and at the same time having this synchronized through the live link with 3ds max this is very very useful very important i repeat this was something already possible with the previous version but not with the live link now i'm working with a project and a scene here right inside in anima and as you can see i have some changes still to be saved okay and uh, let's say i want to work on another side on in 3ds max with a different project inside which we have an anima project imported okay so we go back to 3ds max we load that scene there it is Okay, so here we have this scene, different, completely different one with actors, anima object. Okay, so we go back to anima and anima asks us, um, look, I know that you are working on a different anima project inside 3ds Max 
a different one in comparison with the one you are working with in Anima. Okay, so what do you want to do? Do you want to load in Anima now what you have loaded in 3ds Max? Well, at the moment we could do that, but the problem is that we would lose those changes we are still have to save. So we click cancel, we control S, and now how can we go back to that message? So to the option where we can load a project in Anima with related to the one we have loaded in 3ds Max. Well, it's quite simple. We go back to 3ds Max. Okay, we select the Anima object, we go to the Modify panel, and we scroll down to the Connection tab. As you can see, it tells. It is connected, but it's not synchronized. So we can click on Sync Project, and now we go back to Anima, and Anima asks us again, do you want to load in Anima the same project you have imported in 3ds Max? I will click Yes. And now it will load exactly the same project and scene. As you can see. And of course, connected and synchronized. So as you can see with Animal Live Link, you are able to work a little a bit more straightforward from Anima to 3ds Max and vice versa. You can work with different scenes and choose which one of those you want to synchronize with your 3D application, in this case, 3ds Max. With this video, we stop here. i see you in the next one.